So today I'll talk about a Toyota with the C0200 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Toyota C0200 code? Well, it's a right front wheel speed sensor signal malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, there are sensors located at each tire that report back to the onboard computer the speed of that tire. And the onboard computer is seeing a problem with one of these sensors, mainly with the right front wheel speed sensor. So it's going to be troubleshooting know why. And some possible causes. Well, it could be a bad sensor, could be in the wiring, could be the reluctor ring. And it also might be the ABS model. Module, but usually when that happens, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate that right front wheel speed sensor on your particular Toyota. And you want to remove the tire and it'll be right up behind there. They're usually pretty easy to spot. They'll just be right behind there. They'll have a wiring harness, usually like one bolt going to it. And then once you locate it, the next thing to do is to check out this wiring real good and be sure everything looks like it's connected. There's no damage or anything like that. It'll be going up and around and be going up into the wheel well. And there'll be a connector right up at the top that it connects to. But basically, keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as the bad sensors. So definitely check that out. If the wiring all looks good, then the next thing to do is to either test or replace that wheel speed sensor. There's some different ways you go about testing these wheel speed sensors. I made a video how you could test these with the multimeter. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below. But the next thing to do is to either test or replace that wheel speed sensor. And so if you go through and you do that, you checked out the wiring that looks good. You tested or replaced that wheel speed sensor and this code still won't clear, then the next thing to go and check out is going to be the reluctor ring and just check to see if it's damaged or anything like that. When that wheel speed sensor spins, there's a ring inside of here that activates a pulse. And if any of these get damaged or anything like that, then it could cause issues with that sensor. And so basically just go and look at it and check it out and be sure that it looks like it's good and it's not damaged or anything. And so if you go through and you check all that out and that all looks good, then the next thing to go and check out is going to be the ABS module. This will be located up inside the engine compartment. And usually when one of these goes bad, you're going to get other codes and other things will be happening. But something might have happened where it's just on that sensor circuit or something along these lines that's just causing an issue. But if you do go through and you check all those other things out and you know that they're good, then the next thing to go and check out is going to be the ABS module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the C0200 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.